Hi, it's Liz Hedden. Let's have a look at making bar graphs. So a bar graph is a summary graph and we either use categorical data or discrete data. So you put your categories or your discrete values on the x-axis and you put your frequency on the y-axis or vertical axis. So sometimes you're going to need to summarize the data into a frequency table first before you can do this. The other thing I want you to notice is each of the bars in this graph are separate. There's a space between them and that's important because our, our categories and our data is not connected. So here's an example. We've got our Walset data and I'm looking here at gender. So this is what I want to summarize. So I'll make myself a little frequency table. I'll put gender as one variable and I've got my males and my females and now I need to find the frequency. So I'm going to count up the number of females, which is 3, and the number of males, which is 2. This is the data that I will now use to draw a bar graph. So I need my two axes. On my vertical axis, I put my frequency. And because the biggest number of females is 3, that's why I've gone up to a maximum of 3. So find whatever the biggest number, biggest frequency is, and that's what you want to go up to. Then on the bottom axis, I'm going to put my males and my females. So let's start with the females. We've got a frequency of 3, so I want to put in 1, 2, 3, so that's going to go up to 3. So then my males, I've got 2, so again 1, 3. Two, so I'm going to colour in two bars there. I also need to add a title to my graph and now I've got my labels, my titles and I've got the graph complete. Thanks for watching.